Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. Now in this episode, we're going to be uncovering a critical resource for aspiring engineers, the FE Reference Handbook. And we're going to be diving into the essential steps that you need to obtain a copy of this indispensable tool that's crucial for mastering the fundamentals of engineering exam. But before we get into this, this video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1970. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time around. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and also a passing guarantee. Now, when you take the live online course, PPI guarantees that you will pass, or you can take the on demand course again for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere that you have a device so that you can prepare during the times that are most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all of the options available for PE exam prep. When you're taking the Fundamentals of Engineering Exam, or the FE for short, you'll get access to a free, searchable PDF document that you can reference throughout the exam. This nearly 500-page book is known as the FE Reference Handbook. The FE Reference Handbook is your go-to resource for the Fundamentals of Engineering Exam, and is also a crucial step for obtaining your engineering license in the U.S. It's an invaluable tool packed with formulas, equations, charts, and also data relevant to various engineering disciplines. So what exactly is the FE Reference Handbook? Well, the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or the NCWES for short, publishes this official handbook. Now, it's the only reference material that you can use during the computer-based FE exam. Now, you won't bring a physical copy, but you will be able to bring a PDF. PDF version, and that's going to be provided for you within the exam software. The content varies based on your chosen engineering discipline. For example, if you're choosing uh, the civil exam, the mechanical exam, or the electrical exam, it's going to be different for all of these different exams. Now, here are the steps that you need to get your free PDF copy of the FE Reference Handbook directly through NCWES. Now, number one, you want to create a My NCWES account or log in if you already have one. Now, number two, you want to click on View Reference Handbooks under the Useful Documents section of the Common Tasks area on your My NCWES dashboard after logging in. Lastly, number three, you want to click on the first link, which should be referenced as the FE Reference Handbook 10.1, and then you want to download from there. Now, how do you download a PDF of the FE Reference Handbook for free? So the easiest way to get a free PDF copy of the FE Reference Handbook is going to be to go to this link that we have posted on this video, and you want to hit the download button, usually at the upper right corner of your screen. Now, this method may not always be reliable, though, as it's just been uploaded by Mississippi State University, so it may go out of date or it may be taken down in the near future. But there is a better way, though, and that ensures that you always have the most updated copy, and it gives you access to all of the NCWS handbooks, including those for the PE as well. Now, let's look at these steps in more detail. Now, number one, you want to go to this link that we have right here on the NCWS website where you can create an account or you can log into your existing account. Now, if you're creating an account for the first time, you want to use a personal email and not a work one. That way you have access to this wherever you go. Now, once you're signed into your My NCWS account, head to the View Reference Handbooks under the Useful Documents section of the Common Tasks area. And then you want to click on the first link, which should be FE Reference Handbook 10.1 to download your free copy. Now, a question that we usually get, is the FE Reference Handbook searchable? So the answer to this question is yes. The FE Reference Handbook is searchable and you are allowed to search it while you are taking the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. 
exam. It makes finding what you need to solve the problem much easier than having a physical book that you have to search through, which was the case when the FE exam was an open book exam. Now, as you can see in the screenshot below, I found information on beam deflection super fast by searching it. So this is a really helpful tool for everybody that's looking to take the FE exam. Now, the actual FE reference handbook will look differently on the screen when you're taking the actual FE exam, but the contents are exactly the same and it's still searchable. Lastly, here are some tips for using the FE Reference Handbook effectively. You want to familiarize yourself with the contents of the book before the exam. You want to spend time looking at the handbook's layout, the content, and also the search functionality as well. And that's going to save you a lot of valuable time during your exam. You want to practice using it with sample questions. Many practice exams and study materials come with access to the handbook. So you want to use those to get comfortable with navigating and finding information very quickly. Don't rely solely on using the handbook, though. Now, while it's helpful, the handbook doesn't cover everything that you need to know in the exam. So you want to ensure that you have a solid understanding of the fundamental engineering concepts within your chosen discipline. The FE Reference Handbook is your ticket to passing that FE exam. Uh, now you can search on it, you know, when you're doing the exam to find the references that you need, which makes it a lot easier to pass than other exams of its kind. So you want to be sure to download your free copy of the FE Reference Handbook by following the instructions that we just listed, and you can use it to study so that you can know what you're looking for, that you can find those things very quickly during your exam, and you can pass the FE much more easily. So I hope that you all found this video to be very, very helpful. And in upcoming videos, we're going to be answering more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems for you all as well. Past the FE exam will publish videos for you all weekly, so please be sure to click on the subscribe button as you're going to be getting expert tips and tricks, including practice exams and problems weekly to ensure that you pass that FE exam. And I encourage you all to ask as many questions as you like in the comments, and we're going to be taking some time to read and respond to those in future videos. So if there's a specific topic that you want us to cover or a question that you want to have answered, be clear that past the FE exam is going to have you covered. I'll see you all next week. Thank you.